Today we're going to be making some easy um, cream horns from store-bought puff pastry. So let's get started. And um, one batch makes 12, so, so what, we have 12 cones still. And let's just get going. Yep, you can usually find puff pastry either in the freezer section by like the um, pie crust and stuff. Otherwise, this brand you can find in the refrigerator section by like the um, cinnamon rolls and that kind of stuff. I like this because you don't have to think ahead and defrost it. And it comes on its own parchment paper, which makes it easy. So, let's see if we can get the end started here. You're going to do it? Yeah, I can do everything. At this place. Roll it out all the way. So what we're gonna do? You want to give your part or your puff pastry just a smidgen of a roll. Ooh. You don't need to get crazy with it. We got too much stuff going on here. And one little table. It's not a really little, but small, kind of. It's not a big. It could be. It is a big table. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut this into twelve strips. Hold on. So we're going to start by cutting in the force, and then we'll cut each of the force into three strips. So put two more lines down the middle, down each one. All right. Now we've got these cream horn molds. You could use them for a variety of things. I've got some cookies I want to make with them too. So. Um, Okay. Here, I'll, I'll get off. Yep. So we spray them down. Yep. Why don't you do it over here? Yeah, we'll just give them a quick spray just to make sure that the, um, the okay. pastry comes off. Okay, so we'll take one strip of pastry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to start at the small end and overlap a little bit. Ho, ho, ho. I can't do this. It's zipping, it's zipping. It's zipping, it's zipping. I, I can't do this. It's too simple. It's just slipping off. A little bit. Here, I need to move. Bottom. When you get to the end, just put a little, tiny bit of water on your finger and attach the end down. So we'll put, so you just get just like this mom on the bottom. Yep. And we'll just roll, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it anyway. It's way too simple. All right, so you just roll them up. I try one more time, okay. but I can't use. finish doing this then we're going to put them in the freezer while our oven preheats because puff pastry gets the flakiest and puffiest if it's cold when it um, goes into the oven so we'll stick these in the freezer for 10 or 15 minutes and let the oven preheat and then we'll bake them up till they're golden and let them cool um, before we fill them so we'll see you later yeah so we've got our golden brown um, cream horns ready. Wait, we use and they're this? cooled completely. Now we're gonna take it off. I just I'm not ready yet. Okay. One thing at a time. Now we're gonna scoop some of our frosting in here. 
You can also just use whipped cream or Never mind. use like a mocha whipped cream or. <laughs> Never mind. I got it all. I don't need it. Or any variety of fillings would be good. You could use a pastry cream, a German butter cream would be really good. I'll start taking these off. These. I, I got that one off. What's this beautiful? Diamond ones? Yeah. Okay. But I take them off on display. Oh, these ones are coming off easily. Alright, we're just gonna. I use cones. Sorry. Fill up our cream horns. Mmm! I've just got a star tip on a piping bag, just a big star tip like you would use on a cupcake. And fill them on up. These are coming off a little easy. And the ones that don't have leaves are coming off easy too. This is nice. You just got to be a little bit careful because they're a little fragile. What I'm doing, Mom, is I'm taking this, kind of pushing it in, and kind of just... Hold a little. Hold. Maybe just something. It looks like an ice cream cone. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get these finished. And then you want to put them in the refrigerator for at least a couple hours. Um, to set them up and um, kind of let the insides <laughs> in off the a little spot. bit. And then you can... Um, yeah. Sprinkle them with powdered sugar, but we'll go ahead and do a couple of them now. I sprinkle them with powdered sugar. Sugar once they're done. It's easy. I'll, I'll powder it. So I'm just gonna take. We got this like. Sift, we got this sift off. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put some. Um. What's it called? Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. And sit them on this and sift them on. Ooh, those look pretty good. Oh, you want now? Like once? Yeah, we'll probably. We should try one, don't you think? Yep, so we pile it out of this. Now, you yep. put the what in front of me. You can see it on here. Mm hmm. It sounds funny hitting the parchment paper, doesn't it? Yep. How's that? Looks pretty good. I'll then have some. I'm gonna find a snittle. Mmm. Now I have to put them. All right, so we've got our cream horns here. Pretty easy. All right, should we just share one probably? Yeah. There's some icing down in there. All right. right. Make sure there's some icing. All right, you ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Pretty good. The cream cheese... Yep. Makes the filling not too too sweet, and the puff pastry is nice and flaky and yep, pretty delicious. Yep. All right. Well, we hope you gave our cream puffs a try, and we'll yep. see you next time. Bye. Yep.